Hey everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. I have my third video in my Planted Paradise series. Uh, this card features this Planted Paradise, which is in our spring catalog from Stampin' Up. It is retiring at the end of April, so make sure you snag it. Um, I'm also using an online exclusive called Sweetly Scripted. Um, you could use any of these, but I'm just using a million thanks um, because I always need thank you cards. Now this is a fun fold card and the paper, the designer series paper I'm using is called Nature Sweetness, also retiring. It opens up like that, like a little envelope and there's the inside of your card. Isn't that neat? All right, we're gonna start with our card base, okay? I have a piece of uh, very vanilla. I'm using very vanilla here. Um, piece of very vanilla that's four and a fourth by five and a half. And then I have cut a card base that is uh, four by five and a fourth. Now I've got a PDF for you that has a measurement, so make sure you click that and check it out on my blog. There's also two other projects for you on that blog post. All right, we're gonna emboss the front of this card with the um, exposed brick embossing folder, if I can get it open. And I'm just gonna take my card front and set it right there on the edge. Let's get it straight like that. And then you're gonna just use the bottom plate, which is plate one, and then plate four, and you can run it through your cut and emboss machine. Now this card front is gonna open on the bottom instead of on the top, which is what we normally do. We're gonna adhere it onto our card base like this, so it opens up. All right, to make that little fold over, little envelope lid for you, I've got a piece of the Nature Sweetness Designer Series paper that is three and a half by three and a half. And I'm gonna fold it corner to corner. And then we're just gonna adhere this right up in there like that so that it folds over. All right, so put some adhesive right there and put the back side like that. All right, so then it folds over like that. Okay, now we can put this on our card base. I'm gonna use, whoops, I'm gonna use quite a bit of adhesive here. Now let's get it centered because I don't think it's coming up. There we go. All right. Very cool. See how that opens? Kind of neat. All right, let's start with our stamping. Again, I'm using Very Vanilla because I just chose Very Vanilla from the beginning. You can use Basic White if you want as well. We're gonna stamp the pot three times in Cajun Craze. So one, two, three. Okay, now I'm gonna use um, Let's see, I think I'm gonna use Mossy Meadow. And we're gonna stamp um, these two bigger leaves. We're gonna stamp the solid one twice, like that. And then we'll stamp the more open one. I'm trying to save space, like that, okay? Now let's switch over to Old Olive. They're pretty similar, but let's just have a little bit of variation. I'm gonna do these things, I don't know what they're called, I call them cattails, and I mounted them together so that I could um, stamp them at the same time. So I'm gonna stamp once and then stamp off, and then we're gonna do it again, once and then stamp off, all right? Now, <laughs> here is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna use my scissors to cut these apart, I know. There's no die, unfortunately. So we've got to go old school with our scissors. And I have already cut all of these out ahead of time, but I just want to show you again some tips. The first tip really is to cut away your cardstock. Start with a smaller piece. Then use the middle of your blades and go around the outside, leaving a little bit of a white border on your image. That's going to trick the eye into only seeing the edge of the stamp, which we know is perfect. Our cutting may not be perfect, but the edge of the stamp is perfect. The other tip that I have is to stay right in the middle of your scissors, okay? Um, paper snips are my choice, my favorite uh, scissors to use for this because they're so small and they fit right in. So 
when I need to go around nooks and crannies like that. Turn the paper with your opposite hand and not necessarily your scissors. Okay, so once you've got all that cut out, it's time to do a little bit of, we're gonna just add a little bit of something, something to our plants. Just picking up my grid paper that fell on the floor. And oh look, we've got a leaf left over, giving us a little hint of what we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna do some flicking on these three right here. I'm gonna take my dark mossy meadow or old olive and just flick some ink onto those, okay? Now slide those off. We've got these two plants covered right here, but what about this plant? Well, that plant is a punch, our sprig punch, which is retiring. If you don't have it, you need it. I'm gonna punch once from Old Olive and twice from Mossy Meadow. We're not gonna use all of these, but that's gonna give me some options. Now I wanted my plants to be, guys, I don't know the names of plants, but you know those plants that are kind of streaky with white in them? <laughs> that's what I was going for. Um, but the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna also add in some, whoops, some flicking on these as well. Now this, if you flick a lot, it is gonna eventually wear down your brush tip on your stamp and blend, but I think it's worth it. It's my favorite way to use my stamp and blend. Now, what about the white? Well, I have my craft uh, white ink. I'm just gonna put a little bit of dot here on my silicone mat. I'm gonna get a little bit of water, just a little bit, I don't want a lot. I'm gonna mix that. Oh, I may need a little bit more like that. And then I'm gonna, Tap, tap, tap. We may need more water. Got to, got to have enough to flick. All right, see how I am adding some white? The more water you use, the more opaque your, your spots are gonna be, okay? All right, and there you go. This is an aqua painter that I'm using, by the way. Now let's move that out of the way. We gotta give those a little bit of time to dry but we can start assembling the rest of it. Um, I'm gonna move these over here and let's bring all of this back. To put my plants on the back of my pot, I am not doing anything real fancy. I'm just taking my adhesive and just kind of giving it a full coating of adhesive. And then I'm gonna take my, my leaves and stick them to the back. Okay, so there is one. And we're gonna put dimensionals on the back of these, which will give it kind of an extra layer of adhesive to keep those plants stuck. But it's also gonna stick it to our card base, which we'll do in a minute. So let me, oh my gosh, come on, let me move that. Now for our little cattails, I'm gonna do the darker ones in the front like that and put the lighter ones in the back, which I'm gonna to need to put a little more adhesive. And it looks like I'm missing one of my lighter ones. So we'll just do one set of light ones like that. Okay, again, let's add some dimensionals. Like that. And what we have left is our, are our stems and I don't know if they're dry. Hopefully they are. Let's see, not quite dry. So we're gonna have to be really careful. Let's take some adhesive and first one I'm gonna pick up is that smaller one like that. And then I'm gonna take these and put them behind. Now you can take your heat tool, since I have other ones, why don't I just use them? Might as well use them, right? There you go. Now I can take my heat tool and dry those a little bit like this. You wanna be careful, you don't wanna get so hot that it unsticks your adhesive, but it can help you dry those. Okay, now let's put the rest of our card together. You're gonna to need, um, I believe this is three-fourths of an inch wide 
um, very vanilla. Hello, very vanilla. And I'm going to use, what did we use? We used Cajun Craze. So let's use Cajun Craze for our sentiment. And I'm going to just stamp that right on there. It's five and a half inches long. Okay, and that's going to give us a base for our plants. So we'll put that right across there like that. And our plants are what going to or what is going to hold this down. Um, so we have to be careful with our dimensionals because we don't want to put the dimensionals so high that then that would stick on it. So I'm just going to put one dimensional right there. And I'm going to put that plant right in front. So then that will pop out. And then to tuck it back in, you would just slide it behind that plant. All right, let's put our other plants on. Oh, we already did dimensionals. We don't need dimensionals. I forgot. I prepared. Okay, I'm going to stick that one back there and that one back there like that. All right, now how about a bow? I'm using my very vanilla and pecan pie ribbon. And I, I don't want to bulk my card up. This is kind of a thick ribbon, so I'm going to make sure my bow is pretty small. Cut those ends off short and at an angle. Get your many glue dots and put that right there. All right, now what about on the inside? Let's, let's make the inside as fancy as the outside. You're gonna need another piece of very vanilla. Let me bring over my grid paper. You know what, let's get a fresh sheet because that one is wet, white ink on it. And all I'm going to do is take my plants and just stamp them across the bottom like this. And you can just vary it if you want. Little leaves, big leaves. Uh-oh. Let's see if I can fix that. There we go. You can use different greens if you want, but I'm just going to stick with this one, make it a little bit easier. I like this plant right here. And let's do another one of these, like that. And then how about a little baby on the end? There we go. All right, let's stick it on the inside. Hopefully it's the right size. It looks a little bit too big. It is a little bit too big. You know what? We have our paper trimmer sitting right here. So it needs to be five inches long by three and three fourths. So it looks like I got the three and three fourths right, but not the five. All right, and there you go. Now, if you wanted, this feels like a gift card holder to me. You could add a little pocket here for the gift card, and then it would be a gift card holder. This will fit in a regular size envelope, and you can put it in the mail. Isn't that fun? A little over-the-top fun plant scene. All right, now make sure you click the link here on YouTube. Go back to my blog, grab the free PDF, and check out all five of the Planted Paradise projects that I have. You guys have fun stamping. Thanks. Bye.